Hi everybody, we've been asked a question on our YouTube channel, so let's go and have a look and see what the question is. How does Santa fly on his sleigh? How does Santa fly on his sleigh? That's a very interesting question. Let's see if our friends at the North Pole can help us figure out this question. Hello everybody and Merry Christmas. My name's Sean Hainsworth, I'm the Chief Flight Engineer here at the North Pole Technical Facility. This is just one of the many projects we're working on this year. This is the new Santa 1000, or S1000 for short. It's a new deluxe model, twin seater, so Santa can take one of his elves on his journey with him all around Christmas. This is the wind tunnel that we use every year to try and design the sleighs, and it's also the wind tunnel we're going to use to show you that reindeers can fly, scientifically and mathematically. So, how are we going to prove that these reindeer fly? Well, the reindeer is physically okay, a kind of aerofoil or a kind of wing. It's got a certain shape to it, okay? So all shapes will create lift. The air goes faster over, over the top than does the bottom, therefore creates a pressure difference and creates lift. So we need to find an optimum angle that our reindeer can go to so we can create enough lift to get all eight reindeer pulling the sleigh and flying through the air. But we are going to use aerofoil technology to make our reindeer fly. So thanks my uh, little elf technicians, okay, we've now got some figures that we can start putting into a formula that we can start proving the reindeer can fly. So we've got our coefficient of lift formula, okay, which is 2 times lift, and it's lift we don't know at the moment, okay, over density, which is 118.41, times the velocity, so 3.5 squared, times the area of the reindeer, which happens to be 0 0.96 meters squared. 0 0.96 meters squared. So the only thing we don't know now is lift. We need to generate lift on the reindeer, get some figures. Once we do that, we can work out this formula and prove once and for all, okay, that reindeer can fly. So Elf 1 and Elf 2, okay, are going to use the wind tunnel and they're going to actually get the reindeer from different angles to find the optimum angle and the optimum lift our reindeer can create. Then we'll do the maths on the board and prove to you once and for all that reindeer really, really, really can fly. Okay, so we've finally completed our experiments and we've now got some data we can use. So, we've created some lift with our reindeer and we've got a figure. That figure, okay, is 0 0.3 newtons. 0 0.3 newtons. And that can go into our coefficient of lift figure now. Once we work this out, we should get a figure we can use in our calculations to prove, okay, that reindeer can fly. We've also proved that the optimum angle for our reindeer is 20 degrees. So at a speed of 3.5 meters per second, at an angle of 20 degrees, we should get some lift, okay, which we're going to do now. Elf 1, what do we have? Uh, 4.3. 4.3. Times 10 to the minus 4. Times 10 to the minus 4. So 4.3 times 10 to the minus 4, times that by 8 reindeer, and we should get a little figure to show us how much lift they're generating. 3.4 times 10 to the minus 3. Creating our lift for our reindeer. So reindeer really, really can fly. We've proved it scientifically. I thank you and a Merry Christmas to you all. Scaling up from a wind tunnel sized reindeer to a real life sized reindeer, we calculate 2,500 newtons worth of lift, which is more than enough to carry Santa, the eight reindeer, the sleigh, and all of the presents, definitively proving Santa's reindeer can fly. Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs>